Hi, I am Mansoor Ahmed, financial advisor and founder of Global Hill Wealth Advisors. And for today market views, I have three small wins for you. When it seems like there is a flood of bad news and everything is unpredictable, I think it's important to highlight the bright spots when we see them. I will button things up for you and share something fascinating to look forward for this month. Small win number one, the economy bounced back in third quarter. US economic growth made a comeback last quarter. The economy grew 2.6% after shrinking in the first half of 2022. That's a good news because it means we are not in a recession yet. But there are a couple of caveats we should pay attention to. This data is only a first estimate. It will be revised twice more before it's final. A recession is still more likely than not, with an uncertain growth picture for next year 2023. Small win number two, the Social Security Administration announced the biggest cost of living adjustment in four decades. Because of this year's red hot inflation, Social Security beneficiaries will see a cost of living adjustment of 8.7% in next year 2023 on the top of the tiny drop in 2023 medicare part b premiums this is a good news for the retirees and low-income kids and families who have seen inflation take a big bite out of their income however some folks are concerned about the impact of higher lifetime benefits on social security future small win number three the stock market closed its best month in decades. After weeks of volatility and selling pressure, stocks had a banner month in October. With the Dow, mark, mar, with the Dow marking its best month since 1976 and its best October ever. These types of rallies are common in a bear market and a Reminder of why selling during a downturn is generally a bad idea. Is the beer market over? Is the bottom behind us? Answer to this question, there is no way to know for sure. But it is not likely the Federal Reserve decision to hike interest rate to 0.75% is likely to weigh further on markets. Though there are some indications they may consider slowing the pace of hikes in the future, so let's stay flexible and remember that those good and bad market days often cluster. Bottom line, the overall market and economic picture looks as uncertain and hazy as ever. But there are good weeks and months and small wins along the way. Let's take a moment to appreciate them. So what are some recent wins, big or small? from your life. Please feel free to share with me by sending a message at 866-722-7444 or shoot me an email at mansoor at ghwallc.com. Also the IRS released higher than expected income tax thresholds, deductions and contribution limits for next year. The standard deduction increased to 13,850 for individual and 27,700 for joint filers. The amount you can contribute to most workplace retirement plans will be 22,500 while annual contributions to an IRA increase to 6,500 for folks under the age of 50. Want to talk more about your tax picture before the end of 2022? I'm here. So in the last something fascinating November has a meteor shower. The Linoids, one of the brightest shower of the 2022 will peak in November 17 or 18. Hopefully for a clear sky and it hopefully it might be a quite a nice show to watch. That's all for this week. 
Once again, it's Mansoor, financial advisor and founder of Global Hill Wealth Advisors. And you can reach me through email or phone. Thank you.